Hello and welcome to the 100% Know Up A Finals for the Battle for Hyrule 2. I'm John Taven. Joining me on comms is CD Improv. How are you doing tonight, CD? I'm excited, John. It's not often that we get to see people who are incredibly good at this game go get every, uh, necess not necessary, every dungeon item that uh, exists. So this is cool. Yes, this is 100% Know Up A. Know Up A meaning they cannot uh, continue or save, or if, if they die, they have to touch back. Um, uh, 100% meaning we need all heart containers, uh, the and all non-upgradable, non-consumable items. So that's all the dungeon items that you can't upgrade. So you need the magical boomerang, not necessarily the wooden. You need the uh, uh, and uh, you need the magical sword, not necessarily the white or the wood. Although they will probably get the wood sword. It's an eccentric route to skip it. And looks like we're underway. Uh, should be we should get them synced up here in just a moment. Yeah. Sorry, but I'm kind of excited. I mean, we'll see them get the wood sword, but it'll be kind of fun to see them skip uh, the what everybody seems to love in the regular boomerang and go get that blue boomerang. Yeah. Well, in this route, they they do two before five for or two before one for reasons I'll explain. So, getting they can't if they got them the wooden boomerang by the time they get to it, they wouldn't even uh they wouldn't even change what's in their inventory. Now you saw antlers pause outside level uh. Three. Uh, he's attempting to set up a manip, which uh, it looks like we got a stream frozen to sink it. But uh, cantaloupe is not going for the manips. He's never learned them. No, and that's just we'll... basically to guarantee you a better chance at getting that first bomb drop and a certain pattern from our orange darknet friends, right? Yeah, if you if you if you hit it correctly, which it requires entering on a certain frame rule, which is a four frame window in this game, and you stay frame perfect throughout three, uh, you get the first bomb and then a perfect uh, dark nut pattern in the five dark nut. Now, Antlers had lost it by the time he was at the Zoles. He stabbed his all in a way that couldn't be frame perfect, so he's just uh, doing it naturally. But they're both together. They both got similar uh, bomb luck in the first factor. Although the dark nuts are running all over the place for both of them now. Hey, that was a really good last bomb there from Antlers, which oh. means they're again leaving the room together. Yep. Antelope, uh, filling up his bombs on the way into the raft. Makes sense. I mean, if you know where your count is, then you might as well. Uh, and, uh, Antlers may, may stop to top off his bombs somewhere, or he may gamble, we'll see. Now, isn't there a static drop a little bit later here in three? There are there are a couple of static drops. There's one in that staircase, which you'd rather not clear because there's so many dark nuts there. There's this one with the three dark nuts, which uh, often we get first, but in this case they got lucky and got the lucky drop from both of them. And then there's a static drop up in the chute. And Antlers is not getting any of those. He's just going to go into Manhandler with three bombs, which... Sometimes it's fine. <laughs> I, I mean, I I fully expect that he'd be able to pull it off better than me. He's going to go ahead and get the bomb pack. Yep. <laughs> it looks right, like man. we're leaving level three. Manhandle it playing nice for both runners. We're out of three. Love to see it. it but if, we've uh, got like a couple of seconds here. Not even a full second difference, it looks like. Yep. All right, so now we've got a little bit of divergence, though. So Antlers is going slightly different path, I think, than Cantaloupe Me. No, they're go they're both going to level four. Oh, um, didn't he go one screen slightly different, or was I just not awake? Didn't look. If he did, I was looking away when he did because I was adjusting ah. my windows. But um, so uh, level four, we're going to get the ladder as usual. Um, one thing that's a little different is because the magical key is required in this run. Uh, some of the keys that we get in the 90% run can be skipped, and often uh, we skip a key in four, um, which is the key north of the diamond rupee room. But some people get it to get the bomb force, so we'll see what they do. Now, I just have to say, the clip from both of them in the diamond, uh, not diamond, the diagonal dark room, I could mm -hmm. hardly even tell that they were clipping in that room. That is how smooth it was. Yeah. Yeah, there is a block in the dark there, but yeah, you don't really we're... see it with how smooth that went. Like, cantaloupe and we're into the breakfast gone. room together. Antelope gets a great pattern. Uh, antlers less so, but they're both uh, playing well. So. And putting the bombs to good use to clear the rest of the room. Yeah.
Now, is there going to end up being like a huge difference in the run, or is this one of those where there's just basically one set pattern? Well, uh, there are a couple different routes, but they're pretty similar, and I expect they'll, they'll both do the same. Um, the main difference from uh, most of the any percent routes is we're not going to level one next, and the reason for that is that uh, there's a heart container on the way, so you want to have the candle by the time you pass that bush, so it makes more sense to route it later. Oh. The cantaloupe is the cantaloupe is going to skip that uh, that key, and so is antler. So they'll have to get they'll have to either pair wet in level one or get the Moldarms key in level two. See which they choose later on. All right, now antlers is down to a single bomb. That's a little yeah. Concerning. Nice, ni nice thing about Hundo is since we're going to two instead of one, uh, bombs are less of a concern. Uh, I mean, you can be you'd rather have some bombs because the uh, magical boomerang room has some five HP gorillas that go down a lot easier if you can bomb them. Oh, so he Antlers is going to go for it. Uh, he, he got hit, though. He's not going to lose it. Yeah, yeah I was trying to... Was... Yeah. So, it's, so like I said, it's not a big deal being at zero bombs. He would have been happier getting that bomb force, so he could be guaranteed to have some bombs against the uh, uh, the um, gorillas in two, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, hmm. But they're both going to world wrap and grab the, car the hearts on the coast and uh, some money along the way and then head into level two. Okay, this will be fun. I mean, this is kind of, uh, you have to be amazed that Antlers is in all four of the finals in this yes. tournament. Yes. Yeah, we should mention that. So this is this is the finals in the 100% OFA bracket. We have four different sections. Uh, the smallest was the second quest, which was just a six-person Swiss. And Antlers has already won that. He's also in the finals for all three other categories. Uh, he's the only one who is. Uh, Captain Green 7, who faced him in the second quest finals, is also in the swordless finals. Obviously, Cantaloupe is here uh, in the 100% OFA finals. And in the any percent OFA championship bracket, he's facing uh, the third extent, who... Uh, a bit of an ep uh, upset over Cantaloupe in the semifinals. So, and Antlers had the flu last week. He's just getting over it. So he's he's got three great runners who can all focus on their own categories against him this week. And uh, so it's an uphill battle. But uh, and none of these none of these are going to be easy for him. But uh, it, but it is possible. I mean, could, I'm just he... looking forward to great races to watch. So yeah. All right, looks like we're headed down to two. Now, you had said they're probably going to end up skipping the White Sword because yeah. it's just going to be faster and they can end up with mags because they don't need to pick up the middle of the upgrade. Yeah, in Cantaloupe for his part, uh, he, uh, he's he been in uh, he's been uh, running Zelda 1 and he's been in every tournament in the past nine years, I think. And uh, he's uh, been in semifinals and finals before. He is not... Uh, he is not... Uh, uh, won a title, so uh, this match, if he takes away the 100% championship, he'd be very happy. Uh, so, and it would, of course, end any dream of an antler sweep for this tournament. Oh, sweep works. We were we were in the, the pre-race room. We were oh. trying to figure out what in the world to call this, because it's not a triple <laughs> crown, because there's four of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I was trying to think of something more than that, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I yes, mean, we, hey, we, we can enlist. We can enlist chat's help. Be like, chat. What is we, a really good term for winning all for, for four winning categories? for winning four categories? Um, well, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves because Cantaloupe is very good at uh, at, at this game and at this category, and he's run it. Uh, uh, oh, Grand Slam's a good one. Good, thank you, sports people. Um, but he, he's the. Uh, but Cantaloupe has run this in marathons and races. He's very experienced. He's, uh, uh, and, uh, um, and his PB, uh, in this category is better than Antlers. He has a 35. Wow. I, um, Antlers, now Antlers keeps getting PBs <laughs> in races because his, his, uh, uh, not all his PBs are optimized to his skill level, so he can still do that, which is pretty crazy at the level he's running that he's gotten some PBs in races this tournament. But, uh, it's uh, been delightful to watch him just keep getting better and better. Cantaloupe's first out of two. I mean, uh, it's only going to be a couple of seconds, though, so... Yeah, and I think they both skipped the Muldarms key. I know... Yeah, they have the same key count. I know one of them did. So uh, so they'll have to pirouette level one. Now, the only difference I see right now is that Antlers has about... Oh, I'm not doing math, but he's got a few more rupees than Cantaloupe. Yeah. 
Yeah, and that and that that uh, puts him in really great shape. Um, you uh, the rupee pressure on this route uh, is an issue. You want to be at um, 80 at the end of level one. We're gonna buy some things between here and there, so I won't go through how all the math works. But uh, keep an eye on their rupee count going into level one after the bomb upgrade, because they'll get 130 secret on the way to level one, and they'd like to be at uh, 80 by the end. And Antlers is way ahead of the game already being. Uh, at 83 before even getting this uh, second 30. Cause yeah, they're gonna have to get. You have to get the bait. You're gonna have to get arrows. We're gonna need a candle. We're gonna get the letter. This is a. Uh, oh, like I said, this counts. Yeah, it's a, it's a permanent item in your inventory. You don't have to buy a potion because you can drink it. You don't have to buy the magical shield because it can be eaten by a like like. But the Letter is a permanent item that you put in your inventory and just let it sit there. You can oh. route in money and buy potions if you want to, but neither of these guys are going to do that. Okay, I, I love the fact that we uh, we have oh, a double line heart count this early in a run. This mm. is uh, this is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. And the other nice thing about this run, the bomb upgrades are required, which really simplifies uh, the bomb routing. Um, they're going to buy the bomb. They're going to buy the bomb upgrade before. Uh, the recorder room coming up, so they're guaranteed to have uh, 12 bombs going into that room plus whatever they force, which, uh, so it's, uh, uh, Yeah, that definitely to... seems like a really good plan to me, because if I have to face a room of dark depths with no ring and a wood sword and no bombs, I think I'd cry. Yeah. And they're going to buy the blue candle. Uh, I mentioned only the top upgrades are required, so technically you only need the red candle, but it's much slower to go into level 7 before getting all these bushes there are to burn, so getting the blue candle now is faster. Or at some point before 7, it's always faster in every route. Okay, that um, makes sense. Alright, now we're in level 5. Yeah. Antelope going above the river and killing those Gibdos, that's a strat I've seen him do in any percent as well. What what that does is it makes it so he has only one Gibdo to deal with on the way uh, back. Okay. I, I kind of like that. The, the less you have to clear, the faster it's going to be. Oh, such good block clips from these guys. Yes. Do it a thousand times and you can get good at it too. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> so they're... Uh, they're building up their counts as they head towards the bomb upgrade. Uh, and they will go into the, and put as much uh, uh, as much bomb damage on these dark nuts as they can. Since dark blue dark nuts have eight hit points of damage, bombs do four, swords do one, so more bombs the better. Yep, definitely faster to kill them with explosives. Yeah. And unlike any percent, they have a, a lot of extra bombs, because in any percent we have a max of eight, obviously, so... Uh, it doesn't look like they were clumping up very nicely, though, for Cantaloupe Me. They were kind of like Antlers' room now. They're all spread out. Get the force. Oh, did Cantaloupe get a fiver? I missed that. Although... <laughs> He'll use that fiver later early, so I'm not, he might not even be too mad about that. Yeah, it does kind of even out the money count at the moment. Yeah. Uh, he's only a little bit behind Antlers now. But alright, Antlers gets his recorder, and he's only, I think, one room behind Cantaloupe Me. He's just going to go through the staircase. Well, it takes a little bit of damage stealing that bomb. So, <laughs> so does Antlers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Gibdos weren't playing kind, but uh, at least in this case, Cantaloupe, having pre-cleared a lot of this room, just has to take care of those two Gibdos, and he's, he's out. Yeah. So what Cantaloupe killing those Gibdos on the way in, he doesn't have to deal with that silly Gibdo spawn. Um, it's not that bad. You saw the way Antlers did it. He just stabbed them both three times and bombed them. But because they're on two sides of the river, you always need to use two bombs for that, and you really don't want to have that in another category where you have fewer bombs. So, uh... So just that little subtlety to the strat. So they're gonna head into Dig Dogger, and, uh... I, I will I will look away. <laughs> you have a, uh... 
Um, it, it's my favorite <laughs> enemy in the game. Um, just because he looks like a giant floating saw blade. And that makes me laugh. Oh, he's giving Cantaloupe a little bit of a hard time. He's gonna get him anyway. Mm. Now, is there a reason you wouldn't want to double bomb here, or...? Well, it's, it's, well, first of all, it's faster not to menu. Second, it saves, it saves a bomb. Okay. Yeah. All right, both of our runners have the tray forces out of five, and now we're whistling to... We're going to whistle to level four. Now that we have the candle, we can uh, uh, go ahead and get that bush heart on the way to one, and then go into one. And you'll notice, uh, Antler's at 53. He's going to pick up a 30 seeker and have all the money he needs. Uh, Cantaloupe's not too far behind. He'll, he just needs uh, a five rupee somewhere between here and the end of level one. If they don't get the money, there's a, another 30 secret northeast of one, which they really don't want to deal with because uh, it's an extra menu to candle, an, a candle flame, an extra menu, you know, back, and uh, and the old man text. It's all like it's like a 15 second detour uh, altogether. Yeah. So I, I think that would be the hardest thing for me going from randomizer to anything that's like not randomized is the slow text. No. Well, in all the no epic categories, you can run Famicom now, so you at least get Japanese text. This is oh, pretty fast. Yeah. But well, I mean, plus it would just look different. That'd be cool. Yeah. In the tournament, we're all running on NES, including in Thorless and Second Quest. And our one Japanese runner got the NES version on a flash cart. And... But, oh, uh... I thought you had two. Didn't you have White Colin? Oh, yeah. Well? Oh yeah, that's right. He why why Colin plays on emulator? We had two. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking of Kron because he was oh, okay. swordless semis. But uh, yeah, why Colin was in the premier bracket as well, and and she did Hundo, didn't she? Uh, I don't yeah. remember that part. I just know that she. Yeah. Um, I had seen one of her titles. Yeah, that she was doing yeah. this. So yeah, but, yeah. Good correction. We did have two Japanese runners. Um, so, yeah, hey, since they both. Since they both pirouetted, they're getting uh, familiar spawns, uh, which are, are not, I don't think they're that much better or worse than what you get if you don't pirouette on this route, but uh, it is it does make it comfy if you're used to uh, any percent. Well, yeah, I mean, you at least know what the room's going to look like. Yeah, I mean, you can learn the other. It's only a few rooms, and the Stalfos pattern and the other one's good, too. So There is, there is one bad pattern in one, but... Uh, only happens on this route if you do certain things with caves. Okay. Yeah. Huh. So, that, see, that, that's something I don't think I, I would have ever thought to uh, put together. Yeah. You, if you, if you, when you play vanilla and do the same routes, it becomes important to have the rooms looking the same so you can optimize your strats. And... All right, Cantaloupe Cantaloupe first me. out of one. That's like the one time the heart spawning right exactly in the doorway is amazing. Yeah. Alright, Antlers has his Triforce and he's out of one. Yep, and they both have their money to buy their arrows, so they're going to buy their arrows, grab the power bracelet, which uh, which is both required and actually gets used on this route, as you'll see. And, oh, really? Uh, and, uh, and then they'll go get the magical sword and then go into six. Really nice block clip, but not block clip to get around the uh, lever that was blocking the door for Cantaloupe Me. Oh, the, the P hat, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sorry, P hat. Yeah. That that clip looks really cool and it's fun. The It will put a guinea in the graveyard in his way, which, uh, so sometimes having to stab the guinea probably is, uh, you know, is, takes just as much time as you save by clipping back past the p-hat but clipping past the p-hat looks so cool regardless that so you could already yeah. make a case for it yeah you went ahead and it looked like he stored a bomb on the armos statue as well while he was there yeah they both bombed the armos that's for safety uh because uh you're screen scrolling immediately after it so oh, I see. if you get a if you get a fast armos it's uh nice to not have to worry about it um See, I just I thought know. we were thinking ahead and, and working about uh, taking I mean, care of our bomb count. It's possible one of them was storing a bomb, but more likely they were just, uh, just killing the Armos for uh, for safety, because they could spare a bomb on it. Hey, look, it's level 6, full of whiz robes. 
Yay. Yes. And since it's Hondo, we have to get uh, the magical rod while we're here. I, I mean, there are times where that could be awesome. Uh, we don't usually get a chance to actually use the magical rod in this category. Um, okay, now I'm a little sad, because there's nothing <laughs> like uh, walking into a room full of tanky things and using the yeah. uh, single frame tab to just kill yeah. the entire thing. Yeah, there there are a couple of uh, there are a couple of strats with the with the uh, wand that people have played with, but you don't see them very often. And be more in second quest, hundred percent, because they're land molas which melt under wand fire, but not really in first quest. <laughs> oh man, they're moving so fast through this six, though. This is great. Yeah, so you're gonna see them head up to the uh, wand room now. Now, Antlers gets through with a little less damage in the Dark Wizard room. Yeah, that uh, Dark Moat room is really hard to get through without getting hit, as you might imagine. Like, yeah, well, I mean... Because yeah. <laughs> well, it... it's a Chevy, isn't it? No, it's a moat. Uh, oh, okay, there's... just a straight moat. Yeah. Okay. Oh. All right, is it really 100% if they don't... Is it really 100% if they don't do first and second quest consecutively? Yes. There is a route that there is a run that it does do 100% for both quests, and that is called 200%. <laughs> okay, I like that. <laughs> I I don't know that I want to be on the call for that one because that could take a while. Mm. Yeah, not many runs on that leaderboard, but it's on the category extensions board if you want to go look it up. So, if I remember hearing correctly, Antlers is working on a damage list first and second quest where he plays both. Yeah, yeah. He well, first of all, his his damage list first quest run is one of the most amazing speed runs out there. He has a he's done this damage list in thirty two minutes, and he's gotten consistent enough that he can uh, that he can get through first quest. He's gone through first quest damage list uh, almost at will if he slows down a little bit. So um, he's gotten about. Uh, halfway into second quest damage list and he's trying to get them both together hasn't quite done it yet but that's one of his long-term goals wow uh looks like we're getting a couple more frames here from cantaloupe me hopefully we can we can get his stream yeah. moving again yeah. he's look at his stream and see how it's doing All right, we're going to take out the, the Goma, blocking our Triforce and Six. And Antlers is on his way out the door. I'm going to imagine that Cantaloupe Me, yeah, is probably in the exact same situation, if not just a little bit more ahead. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, Cantaloupe's ahead based on that uh, screenshot, I think. But this is one of the tougher parts of the run, actually, this walk right here. You'll notice Antlers took a hit from that P-hat, which you always take a hit from unless you reload the screen, which then has some other stuff. Makes you have to do some other stuff later on uh, on that screen. And that's what Cantaloupe does. Unfortunately, we lost the stream, so we didn't get to see it. But, uh, but you almost notice Antlers also took damage from the Lionels, which is avoidable but hard. And uh, so... And we're going into level eight, so uh, being having being down a few hearts is not really what we want at this point. Um, uh, but it does save a little bit over the other free first hundo route, so it's what everyone does these days. Now we will see if um, I know Antler sometimes doesn't bother to do the HUD clip on this route. Uh, we'll see what he does. I know, I know Cantaloupe will do it. I don't know if we'll get to see him. Now they're picking uh, yeah. up. Uh, is this the money for the second bomb upgrade? Uh, yes. Uh, well, actually, this money will get spent on uh, the. Uh, oh wait, did he already the... get it? No. Yeah. This this money they'll they'll spend on the uh, expensive meat after eight and the. Uh, uh, oh, okay. And then they'll they'll get the hundred in the deadwoods before seven. And antlers walked right straight up. I hope he remembers to go back for the book. You can get the, uh, there. There we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you can get the book after you finish everything else in the level, but. Uh. Okay. So it looks like, uh, can let me. He's he's basically in the same place. Like he's about to enter here in just a moment. Yeah. 
So was there a slight, like a little bit of a difference in the path here for the two of them? Uh, Cantaloupe, I think, though his stream is frozen. Yeah, he's clipping up into the HUD, which is the intended part of the route. Antlers, I think, just doesn't run this this category very often. So he, and obviously he's been sick, so he hasn't been practicing a ton. So I don't think he uh, he wanted to uh, bother with it, which uh, yeah, is makes sense. Suboptimal, but. And yeah, Cantaloupe stream is having issues, unfortunately. Just looking at it, it's not any better than what you see here. And yeah, as, as Yumi's pointing out, uh, Antlers is a little bit low on health right now. Yeah. Yeah, and Hundo 8's really tough because of all the extra rooms that are added. Um, it would be really nice if he'd get some health drops. Although... Yeah, I don't think can, the game wants to. There, if anyone can clear these rooms without getting hit, it's antlers. But oh, oh dear! Uh, now he's beeping. Oh, now we're Oop, really beeping. Oh, hey, there's one. Uh, yeah, and remember, blue darkness do do two hearts of damage. So yeah, it's it's <laughs> not enough if, to stay alive, but it'll make the beeping. It's not stop enough to stop the, the beeping. Oh my oh. goodness! Yeah, I might have left that dark down alive just in case I die. Um, mm, but, leave uh, it as the only thing you have to clear in that room. Yeah, uh, I, I can almost agree with that. All right, we're going to get the Goma. Oh, wow. Oh, very nice one cycle Goma on the left oh, that pattern. Is that, so clean. That is the, that's the second hardest pattern. So if Goma goes straight up and down, it's pretty free to get him in one cycle. If he goes left, like Antlers just did, you have to get to a particular half tile for the first shot and then another half tile for the second and third shot. It's even harder if he goes right. You have to get to three different half tiles very quickly to get all the shots in, in one uh cycle but he did it expertly which is nice because every extra goma cycle adds eight seconds oh man that would be uh that would definitely be a thing yeah. in a race i'd be like no it's... come back over here bud and he also got a fairy from the goma which uh makes him I... a lot more comfortable yeah <laughs> yeah i definitely it makes me feel better just watching because that was that was not a lot of health Ooh, nice bomb refill there yeah, actually, like that bomb refill doesn't matter at all because we're going to seven next to get the bomb upgrade. Oh, okay. Uh, um, it, so if uh, a, a lot of people try to run out of bombs before the upgrade, so you can auto menu to uh, uh, the boomerang and use it in the river room in seven. Although Antlers has so many bombs, he's probably not going to do that. Oh um, no! Oh no! Oh, no! Antlers, Antlers dies to Gleok. Uh, we don't know where Cantaloupe is because of of his uh, stream problem. We know he's in eight. Oh, he's he's uh, he's okay. He's on the bottom yeah. of eight. It looks like. Yeah, on it on his stream, which is a little bit ahead of the uh, the restream. Uh, well, he was in the first magical breakfast room. Now we're getting the uh, stream uh, stream offline uh, error message. But uh, yeah, th this is uh, this race just got very close. And I assume if, if Cantaloupe's continued offline, he might he might be done with eight already. Oh no! Oh oh no! Antlers don't fall into a death loop. <laughs> we could okay. have some darkness drop him some health. That would be helpful. I they they did, but the problem was between mm -hmm. the floor and the rest of the darkness, mm -hmm. he just couldn't make it out of the room with more than three hearts. Because there was like a heart drop and a fairy, and then it was just between, yeah. you know, the fireballs and the darkness themselves. Yeah, yeah and this uh, this image of cantaloupe in uh, in MBR in uh, Blue Lagoon One uh, is the last thing we saw in his stream before it uh, cut. So okay. I hope he comes. Hope he comes back. Uh, that would be helpful. Yeah. No. I mean, we can. Oh, there's a heart that. No, stop it, floor. Yeah. We had the uh, our uh, our mirror bracket final was also uh, marred by some technical problems. Adirondack Rick's uh, stream was acting up. Oh, oh, oh we're in seven. Back and he, he's already in seven. So we route seven last in Hundo because of uh, because seven is key negative. So putting it after the magical key uh, ends up saving time. Okay, uh, that makes sense. And also having the bomb refill on the way to nine is also nice. So um, this route's very consistent 
uh, compared to other categories. So it's kind of fun to race. The one really dangerous part is level eight, obviously. Level six is a little harder, but eight is pretty brutal. And you saw what happened to Antlers. Um, we'll yeah, but he's, can... he's, we're, we're back on track. He's got his heart. He's killed the Gliok. We've got the Triforce. And I imagine now we're also heading to seven. Because we're only missing one heart, and then they've got to get silver arrows and red ring. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, but red candle and seven as well. Oh, yeah, red candle. It's all right, it's not my favorite red item in the game. Mm. All right, so cantaloupe is, now if I remember correctly, he's got to go through this wall, take a staircase, it'll take him down to the area where the red candle is. Yes, and he may have already gotten it because he's bombing that wall open already, which is usually you flip in, get the candle, and then come out and bomb the wall. So I assume that's where he is in the run. All right, so we're going to get the, the second hundred secret here for antlers. All right, so Antlers is headed into seven. We have a question in what? chat. So what is considered 100% to those that don't know? So it's every every item that isn't upgradable, like a wooden boomerang that you can upgrade to a magical boomerang, or consumable, like a potion or, or a magical shield, which you can drink or feed to a like like. So it's all heart containers, all dungeon items, the, both bomb upgrades, uh, the letter. Um, I'm probably forgetting something in that litany, but I think you get the basic point. All sorts of shiny things that most of these runners don't generally go out of their way to go get. Yeah. I mean, there's really no reason to. Uh, uh, no, they do not need to. They do not need to get maps and compasses. Uh, there is a hundred percent plus run on the category extensions board that a couple people have done, where they get all the maps and compasses as well as the magical shield. So if you're uh, dissatisfied with this hunt r rule set, then uh, go check that out. <laughs> I I don't think even I would want to go get all the maps, the compasses, and and everything else. <laughs> All right, so Antlers has passed the bait block. He's got his bomb upgrade. We just have to dodge some boomerangs, and there's a lot of them in seven. And based on the slideshow we're getting from Cantaloupe, he was, he's got to be into nine by now if he hasn't stopped or been wall master or something. Um, yep, yeah, there we go. <laughs> So he, so cantaloupe's heading towards the red ring. Those are uh, uh, gels, I believe, that are spawning in the middle of that frame he's frozen on. And uh, he'll go up and get the red ring there. Which... I mean, makes me very happy. All right, Antlers is going to take out the dig dogger. Antlers is saying he got confused in eight. <laughs> Thought he must have heard somewhere. I mean, he's still playing offline putts. I don't. I don't know why you're confused by that. <laughs> I, I think maybe putts is asking <laughs> what happened. <laughs> uh. But all right, Kane let me picks up the red ring. He's now yeah, and he, yeah, and he has uh, a lot of hearts, so uh, he should have no problem. Uh, he should have no problem uh, uh, finishing the game pretty quickly. And uh, Antlers is out of seven; he'll be heading to nine himself shortly. But we uh, we can see that uh, even with the slideshow on Cantaloupe's side, that he's considerably ahead. It's okay. That's why it's the best of three. And and I think Chad agrees, and they just really want to see, you know, really good Zelda, so. All 
All right, cantaloupe's getting close. Ah, uh, such good screen scrolls. All right, Antlers is going to go ahead and enter level nine. Yeah, so we have the any key, so we don't need to get the key in this room. Just going to bomb past it. Yeah, I think I like the any key thing. Like, if it wasn't completely out of the way, I, I would totally go for people getting that more often. All right, we're going to murder all the pancakes. Good dodge there to get through the blue wizard room. Yeah, so this map Patrick coming up, there's an old man in a room we won't see that says Patrick has the map, which is kind of a bad clue because they're like, Four different. Does it always have sounds? <laughs> Good question. Let me switch to his sound. I should have done that a long time ago. Sorry about that. Um. But yeah, so that was the patcher that had the map, and Antlers clipped past him while I was adjusting the sound, and he's got a fair amount of health with the red ring, so he should have no problem finishing this either, but uh, I would imagine. I mean, I. I know from the rice room the candle's not quite done already, but I imagine he's pretty close. Yeah, I he, given where he is on the last frame we saw. Uh oh. And I guess with the addition of the red ring, this means that the last patra they have to go through can always be fast patra. Yeah, uh, uh, when I started, uh, I, people were doing fast pattern 100%, but I rarely saw it, and I, I didn't see it in any percent. I mean, it, people had done it in any percent, but it was much more common to see in 100% until the record got down below the 2830s. All right, here we go. I mean, it also makes like these whizrobes, whizrobe rooms are so less scary. Hmm. Let's go fast. All right, now guys, we did have uh, we did have Cantaloupe me finish in the race room with an official time of thirty seven sixteen. Uh, Antlers yeah. has gone ahead and forfeited with a time of thirty seven thirty six. But let's get some some GGs and chats for both of them because this was this was fun, and I'm looking forward to race two. Yeah, and Antlers uh, Cantaloupe says in the race room, "Let me try a different server." So I think he's going to log out and log back in. Hopefully, we will be back for uh, race number two with uh, a little bit better. Uh, uh, Which behaving? Internet. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. We'll be back in just a few.
All right, John, who's ready for game two? I am. Are you? I am. I totally want to see this happen again. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Cantaloupe has uh, switched servers that he logged into, so hopefully his internet will hold up for the second round. I can race. I, I will cross my fingers. Because there's nothing worse when you're trying to do a thing and the internet's just like, mm, no. So, do you think we'll see any route divergence, or are we going to see, you know, kind of basically the same thing? Um... Probably not. Uh, there are, uh, um, I mean, I hope no one, like, dies in three and is forced to reroute somehow because they're out of bombs. Um, mm. but, bar but but barring that, uh, usually, there there are two 342 routes that uh, Unos and JSR came up with. A few years back, Unos is, is a little faster, so that's what most people are doing. Um, uh, JSR's route is great, by the way. I think Shaddy ended up flexing to that in one of his races because he had some trouble that he had to backtrack to fix. But most likely you're going to see the same route as the last race. And once again, we start with the Wood Sword. This and time, pretty close to sync. sync. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Now I get to use one of my emotes in chat that I hardly ever get to use. <laughs> Alright, we're on our way to go get that raft. Oh, okay. Antler's paused again before the door. Yeah, we'll see if he hits the minute this time. Looks like it. He... Now that's what that extra sword stab was. Oh, got the first part, the first pack, bomb pack. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, the Zoles got out of his way and he stabbed uh, as like a time buffer to save on the right frame for this whole thing. That looked like he got gritted, so he may lose the man up in this room, but, but we'll see. Well, that's still a pretty good pattern. You got four yeah. of them with the first yes. bomb, the last two. That was really good. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to be a one bomb, so he. He, he he lost a few frames uh, turning the corner, but he uh, but it was still a good room. But Cantaloupe Got no a manip bomb attempt track? at all, and and right behind him, full bombs. All right, man, this is this is good. And yeah, no worries, chat. I'm resisting the urge to go. Is is this vanilla? Did I did I do something wrong? Yeah, the first one or two dozen times we hear those jokes, they're kind of funny. <laughs> but... Oh, I know. I actually uh, so during during the last Z1R tournament, I had to start bringing home ice cream <laughs> just so that when people oh, cantaloupe almost gets him with a single bomb. Antlers is already through the door. All right, scary manhandle fight for cantaloupe, but he gets he gets through it. Antlers uh, first the Triforce slightly. Yep, just a teeny teeny tiny bit even. ahead here. Yeah. All right. So, are there any other like spots in the map where you can set up a manipulation later, or is it just going into level? Not, three? Uh, not in this category. There are some that have been developed in second quest that. Uh, work on a similar principle the first uh the first thing people figured out how to manip was the money making game <laughs> and, yeah uh, i've i've watched that a few times yeah but um so you know basically just recorded himself doing a bunch of money making game and timed it out and figured out how it worked and he knew the results were coming in four frame windows but for a long time he didn't know why then fiskbit dug into the code and uh and found that the link, the animation of Link entering a cave, ends on a four-frame window. So it, there's a frame roll, and uh, that's oh. every cave with that with that staircase animation. So JSR heard that and thought, well, if we could, if we can enter on a four-frame window, then we could get an audio cue and uh, or something like that, and go into level three at the same time at a, at a set time. Then we could. It's, we could conceivably just walk frame perfect inside three and manip the whole thing, and that's what he did. And JSR has tried to take it even further, like, uh, like he has 
he's routed out Minefs that go through level four and so forth. But uh, All right, we don't know how to cool. we don't know how to carry a Minef through a menu. So uh, so it would so until we learn that uh, a Minef for the whole game is off the table. But uh, it's been a lot of work with it. And in second quest, Shixel and Green Mario have come up with some really cool stuff, like chaining a money-making game Minep to buying a candle, entering level two, and then getting a perfect Gibdo pattern in the first room. It's uh, pretty wild what people can find just with trial and error and save states and emulators. Okay. All right, so, the... so we're both ladder clipping together. We both both picking up this money together. Good bomb there for Antlers. He's going to go ahead and refill his bombs. Alright, we got side-by-side -side Gleok fights. Cantaloupe has beams, which makes it a bit easier. Very true. Oh, but Antlers, man, he makes it through with half a heart. I mean, that means his yep. refill is going to be a little bit longer, though. Yeah, he, t he tanked exactly as much health as he had to spare. Um, and yeah, Cantaloupe, going to be out first on the strength of a shorter refill, but uh, still very close. I mean, it's only five minutes and 30 seconds in. There's still a lot of this to go. Well, if it's anything like what I've got, Bogey, it's a uh, vanilla base with fudge brownies and a raspberry swirl. As Chad is now talking about wanting to get ice cream. Yes. Yeah. Uh... Bogey trying to blame you for his own snacking habits. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm a pastry Ooh. chef. It's my job to make the world fat. And I enjoy it quite a lot. But all right, we're both going to get the co-start here. And again, there's a, just a very slight difference here. Oh, yeah. Antlers is going to get the clip on the screen scroll on the first try. Yep. Antlers behind on the refill overtakes uh, Cantaloupe slightly with a little bit better overworld movement. But still... Really, neck, really, really close, yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> and this time Antlers has bombs, Cantaloupe only has one. He would like a few more. Uh... Now, in one of the other uh, vanilla runs, isn't there a strategy where you end up fishing bombs on the screen for level 2? Or the screen below? Um... I think if you're in trouble, maybe. Uh, but Well, uh, I mean, yeah, if, if you didn't get the bombs you wanted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really nice Master Gurria there for Antlers. Yeah, Antlers got a bomb. They both got bombs from the Master Gurria room. So they can tackle the boomerang room efficiently. All right, we have achieved a blue banana. Stab bomb, stab bomb, stab bomb. Once again, and, both and of them skipping the mold arms key. Potentially the fastest key, but also the highest variance. Uh, it can be faster than the alternatives, but it can also be slower, so oh. the pirouette's pr pretty much six seconds every time, so you can see the appeal. Alright, so Antlers is going to have his Triforce and be out. Uh, he did get a little bit of troll from that Dodongo. And now Cantaloupe, Cantaloupe has money. Yeah, uh, Antlers is way behind on money. Uh, 
you want to, uh, you want to be have a little a, bit more at this point. You want, you want to have like 60 to 70 by now. Um, so he, he may, uh, if he doesn't get a wellspring of luck, he may end up having to get that back up 30 after one. We'll keep an eye on that. All right, he's going to go ahead and pick up his heart. Okay, Antlers has got the 30. Uh, Cantaloupe Me has got the heart. He's going to go switch places. So, is there a big difference? I noticed last time that Cantaloupe Me picked up the letter before going to get the 100 secret. Is there, like, a really big time difference as far as why he would do that, or is it just easier for him? It's very close. I, I don't remember what the difference is, but it's it's less than two seconds, I think, between the two of them. I, um, I think getting 100 first is slightly faster, but it's not a big deal. So, it's, yeah, not really enough to, like... Yeah. All right, Antlers just got his potions letter. Cantaloupe Me just got it, and now he's headed over to get his hundred secret. Ugh, slow text. This is normal speed text. The fast text <laughs> in, in, in Randomizer makes me uncomfortable. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, okay, really? Just, just, yeah, let's go. Mm. All right, Antlers has got his blue candle. And the third extent is saying in chat that they get it first so that they don't actually forget, which no. totally makes sense. The third extent was in the semifinals for the 100% bracket. Uh, he was beaten by Antlers, but he will have a rematch with Antlers this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern on Zelda Speedruns, which will be nice. the any percent Noah Bay final. Oh, Antlers got a clock off the Gibdos. Same old Jets mentioning clipping into the HUD. Yeah, I like that too. You can't... It, it, it's not really that much faster because there's stuff to walk around in the HUD, but it does make it slightly less likely the Tektites can jump on you, although they can jump in the HUD. Uh, and uh, it looks cool. But... Well, I mean, it totally looks yeah. cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's oddly enough one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite things to watch in a race. You're just like, all right, they got a HUD clip going. This is great. Mm. All right, here comes bomb upgrade for Antlers. Cantaloupe me literally just a room away. Antlers dropping a bomb on the old man. That does increment the count. If it happened to be the 10 count, it would store a bomb, although it may just be an increment. I, I was trying to explain storing a bomb to someone the other day. It was kind of difficult. But you have to understand the... Forcing bombs on 10 first. And, oh, he gets a 5 rupee. Yeah, that, that doesn't... He did get bombs there. Well, yeah, and the other... He, um... He was behind on money, though, so forcing the 5 there is not the worst thing. Yeah, because that brings him kind of a, a little bit closer to where he needs to be. He's yeah. going to get his recorder. Candle Me also doing a great job of dealing with his blue dark nuts. Antlers first to the recorder, just barely. The big, uh, the big variance in this run is in uh, six and eight, and as you saw last race, not just because Antlers died, but you can lose a lot of time uh, in those splits. So, uh, but it looks like these guys are going to be neck and neck until they get there. Or I mean, that's exciting. It. I'm good with it. Yeah. <laughs> Up taking some damage from those Gibdos, but it ended up being a damage boost in the right direction and pick up the bombs along the way. So, not too bad. Antlers went ahead and killed a Dodongo and, and got himself a bomb pack. Yeah, that makes it so he doesn't have to worry about forcing bombs in one or anything like that, because 
Now, Antlers is ahead, but given his money situation, he's probably going to have to get that uh, extra bush secret. Now, whereas Cantaloupe just needs, uh, uh, let's see, 11 rupees. Uh, uh, Antlers needs 20. So, uh, that could that could set them apart as they head into six. We'll see. He's going to get the heart, which is going to take his refill time down a little bit, so that's good. And now Camelope Me is going to take out the uh, Dig Dogger. He's being a little bit more trolly. All right, and we are out of there. So is this where Antlers is walking over? He's going to get the extra 30 in the heart. Oh, that'll be, a that'll be after level one. But right oh, now okay. he's going to get... Right now he's gonna get the uh, heart and then the uh, and then the thirty that's normally on the route that we get every time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's call this uh, BT's racing heart because <laughs> many of us have gotten that heart by accident when we wanted a potion in any percent, and uh, Breskel did it several times during the 2015 tournament, so it's been named after him ever since. I I can picture the face he was probably making every single time he did it. He, he is very, very colorful. All right, so if you're antlers right now, you're just hoping that there's there's a couple of fibers just all over the floor here in one. Yeah, I don't I don't think uh, I don't think getting 20 rupees off of these you know five Stalfos and change is even possible. So, uh, so um, he this. Uh, Room of a cup, this lead of a couple rooms uh, that he has against Cantaloupe is probably illusory. Unless Cantaloupe also gets completely skunked on money. So, let's see what happens on his side. I mean, he did pick up a fiver, it looks like. Yeah, so Cantaloupe just needs four more, and then, uh,. Such good block clips and screen scrolls from these two. Yep. That's one thing about running a vanilla, since you do it... Since you do a lot of repetitions, you uh, end up getting good at the movement. And you know, you're not stopping to check every bush, so you scroll over a lot more screens. Yeah, it makes sense. Now, in Randomizer, you see a lot of weird rooms that uh, you don't normally deal with, so... That'll, it'll... Uh, uh, vanilla will improve your combat, and uh, vanilla will improve your movement, and randomizer will improve your combat. So, some of the best players are the ones who do plenty of both. Including, well, actually, including, both of these runners do both. Yeah. All right, Antlers is on his way out of level one. He's got the heart from underneath Aquamentus. He's going to get his Triforce, and uh, yeah, he's he's off and running. Yeah, but Ant Cantaloupe has his 81 rupees, so even though he's a little bit behind, uh, he's going to catch up. You'll see. Uh... Yeah, he's, he's yeah, because Antlers has yeah. to go burn an extra, extra screen. Yeah, you'll see Antlers menuing the candle. Burning that bush open. Sitting through the text. NBC text. So that basically just up. evens it right back up. Yeah, and and at some point he'll have to menu back to the can back to uh, bombs. So uh, so there's still two more seconds for cantaloupe to catch up. So you can see they're very close. All right, here comes the arrow purchase for both runners. Now we're gonna get the power bracelet. Are we gonna bomb the? Yeah, we're gonna bomb the armos again. Yeah. There's the menu, so they are. You can see how that all evened out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Both runners struggling with that particular scroll. Yeah, I. Some of these screens on on the overworld, I have like a terrible time trying to line up with. Hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, we got the wood sword together. We might as well do the same with the magical sword, right? Holy <laughs> in sync. All right, this is oh wow. <laughs> now we're headed into level uh, level six. Oh, nice. The bomb luck for both of them on those wizard robes. Yeah, this is this is at the moment like frame for frame. Hey. Just be careful of this stupid pancake. Oh, slightly faster clear for antlers. Both made it through without taking a hit. Yeah. I'll get trolled by a bubble a little bit, coming into the wand room together. <laughs> they both got a fairy drop, too. I love menuing to arrows. I'm not... I guess, uh... I guess he needs to be on arrows for Goma eventually, but it's interesting uh, taking that menu that early. And yeah, they're both at full health coming out of the magical rod. Which yeah, is this is not crazy. That's, that's not normal, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, it, it's possible, but you don't see it on both sides of the race very often at all. Oh, Antelope man, kept his beams, this. which... Uh, the pattern here, it's we don't have as good a beam strat for it, but uh, it's still they still make it faster. You can see, I'm just spreading that damage around. I I this is yeah. We're down the stairs together. <laughs> I, I mean, there's, like, not even a second between these guys at the moment. Alright, and they're into the... Oh man, the, uh... it's, gonna be, it's gonna be the refill <laughs> again. Yep. And we're off to the, uh... uh somewhat hellish, uh, overworld walk here. Yay! Now, Cantaloupe's going to do his reload. That'll uh, give Antlers a little bit of time, although you, you see that Cantaloupe was either able to keep health because he knows... He switches the pattern up to something he knows how to do, so... Uh... Oh, this text is, is just brutal. So we'll get the heart container uh, off the beach here. Now I'm going to wonder if we're going to see Antlers. Is he going to go for the screen scroll? Uh, not the screen scroll, the hug clip this time. I'm guessing not, but we'll see. If not, that will give Cantaloupe uh, uh, a few seconds to uh, pull ahead. No. Oh. see the... See how much the clip saves here. Yeah, it really there does. You no, know, you have to clip in and screen scroll and clip out, but it still does. It does save. I, I mean, but in this case, they're still they're still so close together. Antler's got a bomb off Manhandler, despite having to stab the last leave. Cantaloupe did not. 
nice unbuffered uh, block clip by uh, Cantaloupe there. Uh, he got bubbled, and he very quickly got the unbuffered clip anyway. In um, in the world record, I think it's still the current world record, Lack gets bubbled there, and he uses a bomb to clip, which isn't ideal because you want the bombs for combat, and he, he actually comments on it that he wish he didn't get bubbled there. But Cantaloupe manages to do that clip quickly without having to spend a B item, which is very nice. All right, we're into now. the Dark Nuts. Yay. Look at just how fast Beautiful though, room the room antelope. Is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is a great room for both of them. Yeah. The cantaloupe in particular kept beams through the first breakfast room, which does not usually happen. Dude, and now they're, in, right. they're, they're <laughs> back to... Yep, we're back to sync. They're, yeah, and they're into Goma together. As soon as yeah. they can get around this manhandle it. It's like, Goma, get out of the way, please. Oh, Antlers okay. got him right. again. Cantaloupe got the harder pattern. Uh, yeah, he did. But, but Antlers did not get the easy pattern, and he still one-cycled it. Uh, so, unearned, somewhat lucky and somewhat earned lead there. And I mean, this is this this. I wonder how much of this has to do with antlers going. Okay, eight. You're not going to do this to me again. <laughs> All right, we got the any key for both of our runners. We're we're headed into the transport. Now, Antlers shot the the bunnies. Was he setting up for something or you can set up a force there. I think I mean he got two lucky hearts, but the thing is since you have to kill the goma, you already have your arrows out there, so it doesn't cost a menu to kill them. So Oh, okay. Uh... So even if you don't have something set up, a lot of people like to take him out there. All right, Cantaloupe's into his his Gliok fight. All right, so they're gonna go uh, buy the expensive premium forest meat and then uh, <laughs> whistle over maybe, to the dead woods. Maybe it's just prime rib. Because, I mean, I, I won't pay it for filet mignon, but I, I will pay uh, some nice money for prime rib. Uh, at one point, JSR was toying with a route that routed this in. He was calling it the prime rib route. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we're back in the dead woods. We're headed into seven. We're going to pick up our 100 rupees for the second bomb upgrade. Third extent upset that neither of them glitched the sound. He does that because he always kills something on the edge of the screen. And so he often triggers the glitch where the whirlwind hits an item and messes up the sound. Uh, most people don't do that, so it, most people don't go out of their way to set it up. So, uh, I I'm mean, sorry, I'm, I'm usually yeah. just happy enough to catch the whirlwind and maybe actually know where it's going. <laughs> As opposed to stopping the overworld music while it's... Uh... Alright, we're into seven. Antlers with oh, a slight man. lead. We, we just have to not die to the 80 gazillion boomerangs. I would dump this last bomb here. I don't know if he will or not. Why would you have gotten rid of it? Because, uh... You can uh, boomerang the keys in the river room here. Oh, because it would have switched you automatically to the, the B yeah. button. Oh, it also saves a tick on the menu, uh, which is less of a big deal. But I really like having the boomerang for the for this room. It's uh, helpful, and it doesn't cost anything. Okay, makes sense. But neither of them did that. Oh, man, look at this. 
Yeah, we are super close here. Antlers. Mm -hmm. First to grumble. Yeah, Spiky giving Cantaloupe me a little bit of a hard time there. Yeah, it costs eight frames to drop the bomb, but that's, uh, I, I think probably the, the tick on the menu alone probably uh, makes up for that. I'm not sure about that. I could be wrong. All right, we're about to get the red mm. candle here for antlers. And cantaloupe meat is, is literally right behind him. <laughs> we got the swag stab. Alright, we're gonna take out the dig dogger. Some people, uh, uh, yeah, some people use one bomb and then stab because you have magical sword. Um, so it saves a bomb. Um, yeah, they both did. Ant Cantaloupe did a better job of that strat. He stabbed before any of them got away. He barely even saw them. Oh, I love the fact that he put a bomb out for that last grabby. Yeah, hand. yeah, it was a great play because he could start. Uh, making his way right uh, before it, Wallmaster was dead, which uh, it made the room quicker. All right, he, he's getting there. It kind of cracks me up that after all of these dig doggers, the boss guarding the Triforce is an Aquamentus. Yeah, I think it's because level seven, if you are doing it casually, it's such a... Uh, puzzle to get through all the bomb holes and uh, to get to the end that if you can find your way through the maze they're not going to punish you with a uh, hard boss that you have to walk all the way back to if you die. Well that's so. kind of nice of them I guess. But alright Cantaloupe <laughs> Me's got his Triforce Antlers is whistling to we're going to one Yep and then we'll head up to nine See my reflexes want to ask you what we're looking for in level nine John um, well, we're looking for them to go fast. We get the red <laughs> ring and silver arrows and... Mm -hmm. And then rescue a princess. Yes. Andy, Andy, Andy in chat saying a Gleok there would be worse than slow text. And I guess I could definitely agree with that because if you got the whole way there and you died to a Gleok, I think I'd be sad. All right, we got antlers in level nine. Yeah, antlers first into nine. Um, antelope's a little more experienced with uh, this category and and the, uh, the stuff that's idiosyncratic to this. I noticed in the next room, uh, ant antlers really doesn't know the. Uh, strat for the hundo spawn that uh, you'll see cantaloupe do so this gap will close i would bet although antler still has a lead so it's still his to lose all right petra All right, so Cantaloupe Me still at full health, even makes it through the bomb wall and the Patra. Oh, Antler's getting bubbles. Look Antler's at this, having some yeah. trouble with the clip to the red ring. This is really the oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look, we're, real... we're doing it together again. Yep. Yeah, oh, that man. having the better clip just uh, caught Cantaloupe right up. Um, I this no, is Antler, so Antler's. Great. Despite losing all that health, Antlers isn't really in a lot of trouble. Uh, but he's got a 35-level hundo runner in the same room as him. I this is this is awesome. All 
All right, we're both gonna even make it through the patch. Right? We're, we're gonna sit through this old man text. Oh, Antlers did pretty good that time. He, uh, can, a, as I predicted, Cantaloupe had a faster room, but uh, Antlers did better in that than he did in the last race, so. Well, on his heels. Now, the reverse C in 100% uh, is pretty nasty, because in any percent we have, a, we have a strat to get them to group up and bomb them, and they just will not group up with this spawn, so you kind of just have to take some damage from Wiz Robes so you don't get bubbled to keep your sword. Um, We'll see who handles that better. Nicely done by Cantaloupe. All right. Antler's not far behind him. Yeah, this is this is still pretty darn close. No, Antlers is down to three and a half hearts. Even with Red Ring, yeah. that's a little scary. Antelope will be your hundo champion if he uh, wins this. But this could go either way. It could come down to Ganon. Oh, pancake! They both get eaten by the pancake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no! Great there. trap rooms for both of them. Uh, Antlers got a little unlucky. Wizard spawned, so his was a little slower, but they were both beautiful. Alright, here we go. Alright, fast Patra on both sides. And to Ganon together. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is crazy. Yeah. Oh, Cantaloupe me gets the... Cantaloupe getting a little bit better Ganon luck. Get your GG's in chat. And yeah, that... <laughs> That Ganon warp decided the race. Cantaloupe finishes with a 37.07, Antlers with a 37.08. That is a one second race to decide our 100% OFA final. That is, that is seriously amazing. All right, guys, we're going to see if we can get the, uh, get the runners here in to join us. Wow. All right, looks like they're both going to join us here in just a moment. Yep. Welcome and GG to both Antlers and Cantaloupe Me. Yo, GGs. That, that second race was incredible. Thanks, thanks so much, you guys. That was, yeah, that, that, was, that was so good. <laughs> Yeah, we had to make up. I had to make up for that slideshow I had in race one. You know, I'm sure y'all like my PowerPoint presentation. That'll be next on my TED talk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I mean, there yeah. were just so many screens where you guys were like in sync. It was uh, it was insane. Well, Antlers, you won the second quest uh, uh, final, but no sweep for you. Cantaloupe, you are our 100% no up a champion. Uh, does that, Antlers, does that bring the pressure off a little bit on for uh, Swordless and 90% coming up? 
Um, or do you just take them one at a time, regardless? Honestly, uh, I didn't really expect to win this one, so... <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I I wasn't really expecting to have any pressure anyway. Um, so this is this is pretty much the result I was thinking it was going to happen. It it is kind of disappointing to me that I uh, really blew it bad in uh, on that block clip. Uh, I guess somehow I got a left input there out of the first one, and uh, yeah. Uh, couldn't you, get it back. You mean in the red rank diamond? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, it was... Just... You were you were a little ahead going in there, so struggling with that clip a little bit, yeah. let Cantaloupe catch up, and you guys grabbed the red ring together. It was a yeah. fantastic. Yes. <laughs> I saw that blew my entire lead. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like... And and you guys traded back and forth a couple of times, too. It was, it was... Cantaloupe would have, like, a one-second advantage, or you would have a one-second advantage, and it was just, like, you guys were... were so in sync it was amazing yeah and cantaloupe you uh you have won a zelda one tournament after uh entering them so many times uh how's it feel well um it's sort of you know it's cool i'm down with it finally you know it's it's like um i think let's see here i've been running this game 10 years and entered several tournaments randomizer tournaments this um just for reference, I have cashed in a World Series of Poker event before I won a No Up A tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, most definitely GGs and congratulations. That was yeah, uh, yeah. that was GGs. amazing. The, you're you're definitely you're definitely the person who deserves to win this uh, this this category for sure. No, thank you. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I, I was expecting a race three just from where uh, Goma and uh, Level Eight gave me the business. He just said, "Yeah, I'm going to go right on you and see how you deal. You got me going left, but not going right." And boy, that three cycle. Yeah, yeah. That, and Ooh. and and you were even going into Goma, so that extra Goma cycle put Antlers in the lead, and then the uh, struggle on the red ring clip uh, got uh, eliminated the lead. I think you're. I think you chipped away at that lead over the course of seven, but it was really exciting to watch. And uh, thanks again for that. Well, I had a I had a really good next room as well. Um, you know, yeah. um, I was able to get two bombs on the trio of Wiz Robes, and you know that's one of my favorite rooms to do in Hondo. I, I love it so much better than Noah Bay, just because if you have the bombs, it works every time. Yeah, that's so it. put them on the block. You hit all three of them. Yeah, that's that's it. I hate that room. I I've, I've used. Uh... I used two bombs in there, and I got three of them once, and then the third one, like, phased down left, um, and I had to eat a red whiz beam to do it. Um, but, uh, I mean, it wasn't that bad. Like, it, I just had to walk way out of my way to get that last hit on that, uh, well, the last two hits on that other blue whiz robe. So, I, I probably did it wrong, though. I've literally never practiced that room in Hundo, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and I really wish you all could have seen if you, um, with the way my stream is going, my Ganon fight in game one. Um, I was trying to uh, hit the uh, bring back OBS at the same time while trying to fight Ganon. And so I'm doing this one hand on my uh, with the mouse and using my left hand on the controller. And um, I gave, Ganon gave me the dance. If I didn't have red ring, I think I took four high roll drivers. We we were a little curious. We're we're watching the race room when we're going. Yeah, so was I. Yet. <laughs> we're yeah, just like I we know where he is, but he's not done yet. Yeah, I, I was sitting there trying to bring it back up because at first it just gave a crash. And like I said in the race check, this is very on brand for me. I, my internet's great the whole tournament, and then I get the one bad server during the finals. I was like, "Yep, okay, this is on brand." And then, um, so I'm just trying to get it back up and all that and had to end up changing servers thankfully i did the trick for race two and yeah it, it, that that was frustrating <laughs> yeah Ra race one wasn't the wasn't the interesting one anyway honestly no, I, I mean i like looked at my hearts while i was fighting gliok in eight and i panicked because i forgot i i forgot you do seven after eight <laughs> and i was like trying to remember where i lost or where i missed a heart and in the meantime, I wasn't paying attention to my actual health <laughs> and got just wrecked by Gliok. I, I mean, you got your revenge in the second race. Yep. 
because that that was yeah. uh, that was way better. Yeah. That was so fast in eight the second yeah. time around. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But cantaloupe went one second faster. So yes. Uh, yeah. Well, uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, a one a one second race outcome in you know any type of Zelda race is you know unbelievable. I'm just glad we were able to put on a good show for everybody and keep the nail biters. I think that that is my. That's my closest margin with anybody uh, I've ever raced, and so and wow. you know, Lee, and we did, and you know, did it with you, Antlers. We have raced in Rando many times. I think this is our first time meeting in Vanilla, is it not? Yeah, I think I, I think you're right about that. Honestly, so, yeah, yeah, but pretty even match. I mean, you can't get more even than less than a second. Yeah, no, the the second race was was super fun. Uh, the first race was was fun until. Cause, I mean, because we were pretty even. Mm -hmm. You had a slight lead when you start having when you started having the issues, but it was pretty even until uh, until that death I took. But uh, yeah, I, we, it was hard to tell with the stream issues, but it looked like you were ahead until you died to Gliok, and then obviously Cantaloupe had plenty of time to catch up. I was definitely behind on the way to eight, so. <laughs> Possibly, like, possibly. Like I, I said, it was fine in there. But it was hard to tell with yeah. the slideshow. But yeah. Um, and then the other um, shoot, what was the other factor? I was wanting to think. Oh well, I can't think right now. My my brain's just jumbled. It's been a crazy re week at work, and then and then you know at least I got one good thing to start off the week with. Uh, uh, finally, a Z1 tournament victory. I just wish we had more entrance in the hundo because I know a lot of people don't run it because it's, you know, it's a harder category. And then also people get a little controversial about what is exactly hundo. But we have another category that lets you get all those things if you don't want to do this one. So we have one yeah. for everybody. This is a great race category, too, because it's so it's relatively consistent. But then there are a couple of really hard, really hard yeah. pain points. So, like, if you get guys like you are at a high level and close to each other you can get races like this and uh we should we should do more hundo events in the future but yep. that's and nobody died in three nobody yes. died in three uh, yeah. <laughs> yay uh, yeah, good th good threes for both of you in both runs which is always yeah. good to see <laughs> did, did you get them did you get the manip in either one um <laughs> I got the manip in both, but did not hold it through to uh, second factor in either. I got internet in the first one and screwed that up like immediately in first factor. Um, got nutter butter in the second one and uh, ended up uh, walking into the block in in the first dip into second factor. Tried to turn left too early, and then uh, yeah, that was that. But... Yeah, when you lost the nutter butter manip, you still got. You still got a two bomb dark nut room because yeah it, no uh, it was pretty decent patterns but, um, but 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 cantaloupe also had an excellent room so you were getting the raft together anyway yeah. i'd also like yep. to point out that i didn't get a single fiver in two in that second race yeah. oh yeah, <laughs> yeah they, they, they were not kind I, I just pretty i just pretty much like stopped picking up rupees at that point mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah we we, we we could tell you were in ruby trouble because you were like at 52 or something coming out of yeah. two and literally like, not that's a single be a, fiber <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be an issue and and you were ahead in one but we knew because you because cantaloupe was about to get the money and you were not that there was gonna be you know you were 15 seconds ahead but really it was even because you were about to lose that uh the time for the backup 30 so yeah like so you were synced at the magical sword even though you're a little ahead at one it was really cool yeah so, yeah, I had um, to take a bop on my way to six because of getting that other five or I was doing my count. And I was like, wait, I'm going to get a fairy on the red wizard. ribs. I really would like a bomb. So I had I took a bop from the P hat on the way into the arrows. Oh, mm. oh, that's interesting. Um, I didn't know if I noticed that at all. I didn't know, I didn't clock that it was intentional. So that's it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just didn't. I didn't want to get a fairy bomb in there. That's the last thing. You, I already had one fairy bomb in that run. I didn't want a second one. Well, uh, fantastic uh, final here in Honda. We have uh, Antlers uh, is going to have a rematch with the uh, Captain Green 7, who he beat in the second quest final. He, they are also both in the swordless final. That is here on Speed Gaming Wednesday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so, so check that out here on Speed Gaming. And then 
Uh, Thursday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, Antlers will be facing the third extent in the Any% Noah Bay Championship Bracket Final. That will be over on Zelda Speedruns. So, uh, so check out those races, because you saw how this final is. Surely you want to see the other ones. And uh, any final words, guys? Just uh, congratulations to Cantaloupe Me. Well, well deserved. Um, happy for you to, to get one, dude. Um, otherwise, uh, thanks to John and CD and everyone behind the scenes at Speed Gaming. Appreciate it. And, and I have one final word for everybody. There what we word go. Is that? <laughs> oh. Uh, well, it, it, there it, we go. What? The nut. I guess the nut button. <laughs> the nut button. Through, fine. I, I heard <laughs> it. I heard it very, very faintly there the second time. <laughs> I was about to All say right. not cookies. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much to Speed Gaming for uh, for the restream. Uh, thanks to Antlers and Cantaloupe for an amazing, uh, amazing couple of races, particularly the second race. Congratulations to Cantaloupe on the hundred percent final. Check out Antlers in the finals on. Wednesday and Thursday. Thanks to CD Improv for joining me on comms. I'm John Tabin, and that'll do it for us tonight. Uh, see you soon for more Zelda 1. Yep. Have a good night.